This is a disassembly guide of the SEMA Sport AR47. So the first step is to take out this pin that's being held together by a screw. Now we can separate the upper receiver from the lower receiver. To do that, you'll just need to push forward and if it gets stuck, all you need to do is pull back the charging handle slightly and release it. Once you've separated your upper receiver, you'll find a unique looking hop-up unit. All you need to do to take it out is fiddle with it a little bit until it pops out. Here's what it looks like. Now, we'll focus on the upper receiver. To take off the handguard, you'll need to unscrew the outer barrel. To get access to the outer barrel, we're going to need to slide the handguard forward. So we'll need to remove this screw and this screw inside. Now we can just slide this forward to reveal these two threads right here. Now you can just pull it off. And also, make sure you don't lose this little plastic piece right here. No! Unbelievable. And to take off the handguard, just slide it backwards. To take off the orange tip and reveal the thread, you're going to have to drill around this pin and take it out. Then you can simply unscrew. And this thread goes clockwise. And this is indeed a 14 millimeter thread. Now let's move on to the lower receiver. The first step in disassembling the lower receiver is to take off the stock. So open it up and pull the opposite way on the adjustment and slide back. Now we're going to need to take off the buffer tube. And there's a Phillips head screw sitting at the bottom holding the stock tube in place. And there should be this little metal plate that you're going to have to redirect out. As you can see, I've put some tape on the stock tube to prevent the stock from rattling. Next, we're going to take out the motor and the pistol grip. So pop out these two screws, but do not touch the middle one. Now you can take off this plate. And all you have to do to take off these two wires is just pull them up. Now you can lift out the motor. At the bottom of the pistol grip, there are two screws holding it in place. Now just lift it up and redirect the wires through. And I also forgot to mention to take off this little plate. And this piece broke off for me, but it won't matter because it doesn't do anything. Now we need to undo this screw and pop out that pin. Now we need to take out the mag release. And this mag release is not like any other ordinary one, because it actually has two functions. But taking it out is the same as any other M4. You'll actually need to pull back this mag release to take out this one. And make sure you don't lose this little piece right here. As you can see, I've modified it by putting a bunch of tape around it to keep the magazine secure. Then we'll need to make sure that this pin is removed. But make sure you're pushing from the opposite side of the grooves. Now we should be safe to separate the gearbox. From here you can take apart the gearbox and do any upgrades or repairs, but we're not going to go in depth with that. So that's actually the entire rifle disassembled. Now we're going to reassemble it. And make sure that when you're putting in the pistol grip, these wires go into the aligning hole so that they're straight. And when inserting the motor, make sure that these wires are towards the rear. Also put it in this orientation with the red facing this way.
make sure that when you're putting in this pin, you put it in from the right side. And if you want to, you can put the orange tip back on. Now we have both receivers reassembled, so we'll go in with the hop up right into here. And then after that, we can pop on the upper receiver. Now the last thing to do is to put in the final pin. So that is the full disassembly and reassembly of the SEMA Sport AR47. And if you have any questions, let us know down below in the comments.